This video is going to show you how to install an update on your Galaxy Note 2 on Sprint's network. This update enables the multitasking feature. You will see what I'm talking about here in just a minute. Now, you do need to be on stock recovery. I did a how to root video, and inside that how to root video, you'll download that same exact toolkit, but you'll choose reflash stock recovery, and it'll walk you through what all to, you know, choose. I will definitely have a video on how to flash stock recovery very soon, but I felt that this was more important to do now, and do this, you know, how to flash stock recovery later on. What I've done in advance is download Voodoo OTA Keeper. Basically, it backs up root. When you first install it from the Google Play Store, you'll press protect root. Basically, this is gonna back up our root because because when we install this update, it's going to kill root and this might be able to restore it. We'll find out here in just a minute. All right, the file is in my Dropbox. I'm going to put a screenshot up right now on the reason why we have this file in the first place. So a huge thank you goes to him. Then I'm going to go to Android and then I'm going to go to Samsung and then I'm going to go to Galaxy Note 2 and then I'm going to choose this one, long press, export, and then I'm going to save it to my SD card and my SD card. You can't put it on the internal. You just can't. So wait for it to download. It's a not big file at all. It's like 22 megabytes. Of course, it has like an Android file host thing, but uh, yeah, you'll just take that and you can save it on your computer, put it in your Dropbox, or you can save it on your computer using his link and then transfer it over to your SD card using your computer. Well, on Dropbox, the file is not going anywhere. I have it on all my computers and all my devices. Now, I will simply turn the device off. Wait for it to, you know, shut down all the way. Shutting down, shutting down. Wait for it to vibrate. There it goes. Come on. Now we'll press volume up, the home button, and the power button, and wait for it to, you know, go into recovery. Come on. There is stock recovery. So wheat. We need to go to apply update from external storage, press the power button, and then we need to find that file. There it is right there. Press power. And it's going to install. Maybe. I don't know. I might get errors. This is my first time installing this. Oh, yeah, I did get errors. Errors, side load, package zip, status 7. Okay, so I need to obviously do a little bit of research and figure out what's going on. Okay, so that didn't work. What I'm going to try to do at this point is open up Voodoo OTA Root Keeper and do Temp Unroot. There we go. It's backed up. Now I'm going to power it down again. Okay, so what I've done so far is I restored my phone 100% completely stock. I know that with the Transformer Prime, if you try to apply an update but you removed system apps, it won't go through because it knows you change stuff. So what I did was I owed it back to 100% stock, and I do have a video on how to do that, so make sure you check that out. But before doing that, I backed everything up with Titanium Backup, and I uploaded it to Dropbox. So if anything ever happens to my external SD card that all my you know saved data is on, I can simply restore it. Make sure you don't lose your most valuable and important things anyways so now we're gonna open up the Play Store and I always go in here and sort by alphabetical grades so it makes stuff easy to find open up the Play Store my apps and I need to search for OTA Root Keeper then I'm gonna download it install it press accept and download and then open it should yep grant root permission and then when that goes away protect root sweet all right so what i did was after going back to completely 100 percent stock i went to the super su thread that chainfire has and i downloaded the odin package and flashed it via odin so i have stock recovery right now but i have root access so we're going to power down then we're going to hold volume up, the home button and the power button, and then wait, and then wait. All right, now we can go to the external storage, and then we can press volume down until we find this one right here. Press power. This time, it should not fail. Verifying update, verifying current system. It shouldn't fail. Please don't fail. 
I've never flashed this before. Like I said, um, this is the update that brings like the multi-window thing, verifying current system. Please don't fail. Please, please, please don't fail. Awesome. It didn't get that far before. So Odin back to 100% stock using the older tar based on the older update. Then I ran the Odin thing with Chainfire's, you know, CF root thing. And then it did its little reboot, said restoring stock recovery. And then it rebooted back to system. I had root, but stock recovery, which is important. You cannot have custom recovery. So I think what happened was I removed some apps like Flipboard and etc. I had to remove some system apps that I didn't want on my phone. And what it did was it verified that everything was the way it was supposed to be and it saw that some things were missing that were supposed to be there. Normally you can't uninstall system apps like Flipboard and stuff you'll never use. Normally you can't uninstall that unless you have root. So if you haven't messed with anything in your system partition but you rooted, you should be able to flash this just fine. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up here. Looks like it's about done. Install complete. Now it's rebooting. So basically with OTA Rootkeeper, we granted it root permission, we had stock recovery, and then when we install this update and it reboots, we will not have root because the update will take away root. But since we downloaded OTA Rootkeeper, installed it, and backed up root, well, protected root, we'll be able to restore it using the same app. That took a whole lot longer than normal to boot up. Android is upgrading. Sweet. Looks like we will now have the multitasking feature. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say it now. I've never used it before, and I've only seen Zetomax's video on it with his International Note 2, which got the update, I think, a couple weeks ago or whenever it was. So, I'm going to be going by what I saw from his video. Always check more information. Oh, come on. Anyways, when whenever it lets you, press more information and then uncheck the connections box, which is under settings, more settings, mobile networks, sprint optimizer connection things, uncheck that and then press back. All right, now we're going to go to about. And you'll see that it's LJC. I'll put a screenshot up now. In fact, let's take one while we're making this video. Okay, so super user or super SU continue installing failed. We do not have root. So we're going to open up that Voodoo root, OTA root keeper app and see, look, it's unchecked. Device rooted? No. Root permissions granted? No. Restore root? Let's go back to super SU, continue, and success. We can now go to the market and download apps like Titanium Backup. We are now fully rooted. So we're downloading Titanium Backup. We can open up Goo Manager. Install, accept and download. Open it. Grant root permission. And menu. Install Open Script Recovery. Yes. Yes. Let it do its thing. Goo Manager is having server issues, so this probably won't work at the moment. I do have this file in my Dropbox. So, oh, it is downloading. Sweet. I'm going to open Titanium Backup while it's doing that. Grant it root permission. We are good to go. Custom recovery has been installed. Reboot recovery? Yes. Ah, ha, ha. there you go. That's the screen you want to see. Let's reboot back to system. So we are now rooted. We have custom recovery and we have the very latest LJC update. Again, huge shout out to Chainfire, the person that created the thread with the download link to the update without having to wait for it. Shout out to all the people on Twitter that follow me and mention me about things 
like updates that are coming out and things that I miss because I follow so many people and I have a full-time job and I have a disabled kid and I'm just a busy freaking parent so I don't always have time and then y'all mention me on Twitter and I'm like oh did not know that or yes I did know that but thank you okay so I think you hold that to start the window drag an application from the tray to the screen okay so we'll do like Polaris office and we'll have that up press this again and then we'll do like hmm YouTube wait that opened up YouTube okay so we've got to take Polaris office uh, again, this is my first time doing this, so yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh, okay, sweet. And then, like, you can make one bigger and the other one smaller. Oh, that's neat. I like that. And then I wonder, like, so it's completely independent, and then you can press this, whatever that was doing right here. Oh, it flips them. It, like, reverses them. Sweet. And then that goes full screen. All right, cool. And to get that to go away, I believe you hold it. There you go. It's gone. I'll play with it some more. I'll try to have a you know full review of it after I get used to it. Um, there is a mod for other versions of the Galaxy Note 2 where you can use any app that you want to, not just the ones that it allows. So I'll definitely keep you all updated. I said yesterday in my full review of this phone that I would do a video as soon as this update became available, and it did. So I'm doing it now. It took me a while because I have a full-time job and I have to work. Like, when I get done editing this video, it'll probably be uploading while I'm sleeping so I can go to work tomorrow. Yeah, I hate having a freaking job. I can't do this stuff 24-7 for you guys. But there's how you install the latest update. Keep root without losing it. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Let's know you liked the video and you want to see more videos like this. In the description of this video, there'll be links to follow me on Twitter, links to all of my Galaxy Note 2 videos, links to everything you need will be in the description of the video you're currently watching. Again, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.